2016, I came back from a deployment in Iraq. In every sort of quantifiable measure, the deployment was a success. Uh, we flew uh, more than we ever anticipated and we were able to support uh, Special Forces troops on the ground along with their international counterparts. When I came back from my deployment, I, I wasn't the same. It took everything that I had to really put all of my focus in at work. And uh, initially I thought, okay, this will pass. This is just me trying to get reacclimated. That ended up leading to me going down a trail of depression, trying to figure things out. Um, I tried to internalize what I uh, was experiencing and I really couldn't make any sense of it. And uh, I fought with it for a long time and it got to the point where I was maybe getting three hours of sleep a night. And uh, there were days where I couldn't help but think, my God, I'm gonna kill myself today and I had zero desire to do that, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. Monday morning, uh, I end up getting into work. I grabbed two of my other seniors, good friends at the time that knew I was having some issues but didn't know to what level. I said, hey, let's go, um, let's go talk with the chief. I said, I'm gonna share something with you guys. So um, get into the chief's office, uh, sh he shuts the door, I take a seat, and I just give him everything. Let him know the personal hell that I'd been experiencing for this case is, uh, or at this point, it was probably about six months. And he starts making some phone calls and my two friends went ahead and they took me over to mental health. And within a couple minutes, I was brought back to speak to a major who was uh, super awesome. She was super friendly. She understood that at the end of the day, I truly didn't want to, to end my life. She got me on the right medicine, and she was able to um, kind of get me and my thoughts back on track. I feel like sharing my story uh, and having the maintenance background is big because I'm not alone. I know I'm not the only one out there with those struggles. And you know, one of the soft truths is uh, people are more important than hardware and that is 100 percent true uh, that's something that i know that uh, afsoc lives i can speak to it here from this wing um, we can replace iron we can replace tails but you can't replace people we always hear we got to finish the job we got to launch the aircraft we have to do all of these things but um, we're more than that we're human beings and you know, we're all gonna have those down days. We're all gonna have those down moments. The Air Force moves, uh, keeps moving. The Air Force uh, isn't going to drop because of one person um, needing help. You know, you matter, we all matter. And um, at the end of the day, being able to have everyone's back is really what's gonna carry that mission forward.